And yeah, we got our dice. We got our dice. So, we didn't even open them yet. Yeah, Spencer, you're you're in control of this ship. Uh, how should we begin? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So, I mean, let's just really quick talk about dice. Um, yeah. Okay. It's dice session. You guys have dice. Oh, I think Ryan has dice. Do you have I, dice, Audrey? Oh, yeah. Oh, you okay. Sure? Wow. I do. Cute. So we got yeah. just so you know we got uh, the polyhedral seven dice set. Yeah. So actually, I think we should go through all these and, and talk go. about which ones are which, so Fuck we can yeah, talk dude. about them. You know, I'm hyped, bro. Um, you know, we're not going to be just only learning and stuff, but a couple things as we go, I think, will be helpful. Um, Thank you, Rory. So the first one is the D20. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have one that looks like this? It's, you know, the kind of D&D dice. Uh, this yeah. one, right? You need to follow the Oh, I'm on a delay. Hold on. I'm no, on the wrong screen. Yeah, those are the D20s. Yeah. Okay, so, so that, a... that one's a D10, Brian. That's called a D10. A D10. Oh, okay. man, this is already going too fast on for me. The, on, on this screen, you should have no delay on the camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, okay, I so switch back. The D20, is that the one that is like the most, like you said, the like the oh, most the, surface. It's, it, yeah, the it most It looks round. the most like a, like a, like okay. a circle. Yeah. It's got triangles. Yeah. Okay. So that's the D20. So when we say D20, what we mean is it's a dice with 20 sides. D20, dice with 20 oh, sides. Oh, I found right? the 20-sided so, die. Got right. it. Okay. So um, so the, most of the time we're going to be rolling the dice. If I say, if you were go like, oh, attack, I want to attack, I'll probably say, you know, roll a D20 or roll an attack. And like almost all the time, we're just going to be rolling the D20. Like the rest of them, we almost are never, never going to need. Okay. Um. We can go through the other ones just really quick for familiarity if they come up. Um, Got it. So you know what a normal dice is, right? That's a, they call it a D6. Yeah. Um, Got so, it. So again, you know, six sided dice. So, and then let's, uh, we could skip that one because it's so easy. The, this one's the triangly one, like the little pointy triangly yes. one. That's a D4. That one's a cool one. Okay, um, you don't want to step on it. That one. The oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, We're gonna exactly. We're gonna okay. get superhuman to jump on a bunch of these. Oh, oh that would be amazing! Oh, oh, that would be amazing. That would be. You cool. should do that, jackass. Ah, yeah. Holy shit. Okay. So I got, I got my D twenty. I'm, I'm putting that aside in my little black box here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's the one we'll need most of the time. Cool. And then now, what um, else we got? We got a D8, which is this is kind of like the D4, but it's two of them. It's just like eight it looks triangles. Sick. Yeah. It's like the Evangelion. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay, the yeah. Ava. Yeah, this is the Ava dice. Got it. It's the Ava dice. He's going to come in. He's going to shoot a laser. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. Brian and Frank have to snipe it together from outside of its Got range. it. Got it. Fuck my target. Frank! <laughs> 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 but um, okay, so that's the D8. You know that won't come up all the time. But um, what else we got here? There's the D10. Brian, you had the D10 earlier. Do you still have the D10 somewhere? Yeah, that's the one that, that, that looks like a mini version of the regular one, right? Yeah, uh, it's uh, oh, no. This is no the, the mini one of the regular one is the D12. I see. Oh yeah, you're that's looking for the, the one that kind of looks like a flying saucer. Oh. Yes, I think this one, the one that has sixes it's and nines on it. Yeah. So it doesn't. Hell yeah. So yeah, dude. it has ten points on it. Got it. Right on. Yeah. So Welcome this one has ten points, and you generally will get two of them in your set, and one of them will have will be the same as the others, but it'll have zeros and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's these two. Yeah. Yeah. So now grab both of those. You got both of them. Yes. Um, and now roll them at the same time. Okay. Oh wow! Whoa, we're, we're rolling dice already. <laughs> Guess, yeah, hey. we're rolling dice. Hey, hey, hey! Huh. I rolled, I rolled the percentile dice. Look what I got. We're not uh, even kidding. Look what I got. Do we have a I got, get 69. I got sixty-nine. I got sixty-nine. <laughs> not even joking. We got need a, a box. We need something place to roll. Yeah, because because we can try yeah. to roll them on the on on the desk here, but I know at some point they're gonna. Uh, roll. You're gonna, you should, you should roll you're your gonna want bed. something like this. Yeah. Which is like a little dice tray. Yeah. yeah. Little shoe, shoe box. I think. Yeah. All right. We're yeah, gonna get it. Dice. Your mom's and, bed. And thank you, Doctor Butter, for, for the for the gifts. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Again, we're new at this, but Spencer is being so kind. Professor Spencer, DM Spencer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Willing to DM some noobs. This is amazing. Thinking they have little baby diapers. And, and then baby. everything for the hype train. We'll read everything off once we do a little break. Thank you so much. I'm hyped. Um, we're going to find a place. Actually, okay. So as Brian's looking for a, a place to put the, do oh, the dice, which which two dice do I roll again? The two D10s. They kind of look like the cones, like two cones stuck together. Um, 
Okay. The zeros. I got Roll one. The, these yeah. ones, Frank. These oh. ones. So one that has yeah. the zeros and one that doesn't have the zeros. Got yeah, it. Yeah, but the they two, look the same. The two UFOs. Okay. okay. I, I, yes. I, get, I got it. I got it. And so one of them will be the tens place Ooh. and one will be the ones place. So <laughs> can you read it? Okay. A hundred. All right. I'm going to do mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Aha! That's what he says when he wrote. Okay. Um, how do you know which is? Okay. So I have an 80 uh -huh. and, and uh -huh. 80, 87. So that's 87. Yeah. So you, you see how that works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then also sometimes if you just have to roll one of them and you grab the one with the zeros, you know, you just take off the zero and sure, then it's sure. like, oh, it's, you know, so mm -hmm. that's how you use that one. Then just the last one is the D12. That one has pentagon sides. So it looks pretty similar. It's also the last one we haven't talked about. It's yeah. the one that says um, 12 on it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the one uh, from m, &M. Yeah. D12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, that one, that'll come into play probably less often than the other ones. But yeah, so okay. it's just good to know what all, all these ones are. You know, that way if I say, oh, roll a D8 or something or roll 5D2 or I don't know, five, not 5D2, whatever. You get the idea. All right, we'll okay. Learn, we'll learn it. Or I can just copy off of Brian's paper and see what he what dice he picks up. Or no, he hey, no cheating. <laughs> hey, for the big dog. This is the D&D &D MSATs are coming up and we're I need to... <laughs> We're a team. We all work together, bro. That's true. We you're all count, You're gonna be counting my die, bro. Okay. Count yeah. these nuts. Yeah, roll these nuts. Count okay. These nuts. Okay. So I I got an eighty-seven. Yeah. That was just to show you. That was oh, just to show you how it works. we're just learning. That's a good number, though, right? <laughs> it's one of the best. Okay. It's, yeah. There's only like yeah. it's the fourteenth best number. I okay. Think. Okay. Now, how, <laughs> how do we determine who's going second in Mario Party? Frank, that's oh. not how it works. Oh, okay. Okay. Next. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so. So most of the time, like I said, we're going to be rolling the D20 if we're rolling anything. So if you want to shoot a laser beam at someone, if you want to shoot a gun, you know, if you want to Fuck race yeah. someone, I'll, I'll say, you know, roll the D20 and then we'll add something to it. Uh, and then at the beginning of the fight, everyone rolls the D20 and adds their dexterity. And um, that's how we determine who goes first in combat. So okay. that but we'll worry about combat later. Basically, combat is just like you could do an attack and you can do some other stuff. You know, you can do like everyone takes their turn and they all you know do different things so that's the very basics we can talk through specifics as they come up but i think that's kind of all i wanted to talk about rules wise uh, so is that all making enough sense you yeah. all don't have to be super clear but yeah. yeah yeah um okay any questions um I, th I, think so. I think we're set. I think we're ready to rock. I am very nervous, but I'm <laughs> excited to see what you cook for us. Yeah, I'm I'm nervous, too, because, you know, you look at your notes and it's like, this isn't anything. How is how am I supposed to do anything with this? <laughs> um, but that's why, you know, we'll, we're learning. But OK, so let's just really quick reintroduce your characters. Yes. Um, you want to talk through your characters, uh, whoever wants to go first or whatever, and Kind of if you remember anything about your backstory or if you thought of anything or like how you know the other characters, yeah. anything like that that comes to mind. OK, so I am Wario Spawn. Uh, he was an ex-soldier for the Mushroom Kingdom. He was killed in action. We don't know who killed him. Maybe he's going to find out. He woke five years later as a Hell Spawn, uh, uh, cast out from his home. He wants revenge. Uh, he was in love with Princess Peach, and he was determined that he was going to marry her and become king of the Mushroom Kingdom, and he was taken out, killed. He doesn't know who killed him, uh, but he served as a soldier in the Mushroom Kingdom with uh, his, his friend uh, Jasmine Gambit, which we'll, we'll get to in a moment. Uh, also, a Wario Spawn, you know, after his career in the military, he really wanted to be an entrepreneur and open up Taco Bell and fast food franchises, as well as use the bookstores. <laughs> All right. Uh, who wants to go next? Uh, it's, I'll, I'll go next. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm Jasmine Gambit. I'm basically a female version of Gambit. Uh, I'm an alchemist, and uh, I fought in the Mushroom Kingdom Wars uh, with Wario Spawn uh, back before they were Wario Spawn. Uh, they were just Wario, and uh, and I I'm a I'm like a you know a Cajun sort of <laughs> rogue agent. I work for myself. But here's the thing: I'm looking for my long lost wizard boyfriend he's really powerful something happened to him in the war and i'm you know piecing along the clues i run into wario spawn reincarnate and together we come up with some ideas about how we're both gonna mutually get our end goals fuck yeah <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all right <really fun. laughs> uh who who's next Should audrey go you go okay. you go audrey 
Um, so I'm basically uh, a fairy that grew out of a Cheeto that got teleported in time by a mad scientist. So this Cheeto had to adapt it to a new world in a caveman situation. So she grew strong. So she's going to be your fairy barbarian this story. Uh, she doesn't talk much. When she talk, it's not really understandable. She kind of speak English, uh, French, and scream a bunch of shit. Uh, and she's going to follow along whoever respects the nature. And she just want to be the biggest pseudo <laughs> bag in the world. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I love uh, and lastly, I'm playing the uh, cleric Kevin Hilt, the, the, the corporate moderator sent by the Taco Bell Corporation, which we be I believe we've said is headed by a devil. Uh, and uh, he's from a, a line of clerics in this world. All corporations are either celestial or infernal, and he's an, from an order of clerics there to keep the balance to make sure that everyone plays by the rules and that uh, this corporate warfare doesn't get out of hand. Now, is it is it true that Accountant Kevin Hill is from the land of Dakota? That is true. Yeah. It's a far-off land called the Dakotas. That's right. Yeah. And uh, he, he was raised there, and he's, he's here to make his first real progress towards his goal of becoming the head of one of these corporations. Yeah. But first, he has to show his his uh, stature and business with this group of miscreants that he's been sent to, uh, to moderate. I love it. All right. And so I just, I don't know, just to talk this through real quick, I just feel like we might have skipped some of Kevin Hilt's personal data personality. <laughs> oh, data yeah. I, I wrote, I wrote that want, all in. You want to just talk about that really quick? So sure. for, just for me. So, sure. So his personality traits would say that he values order and law above all. He is lawful neutral. Uh, the furtherment of the of his career in the Taco Bell hierarchy, though, is his ultimate goal. He wants to either you like I don't know, just get high enough to uh, be part of the corporate board of Taco Bell, or get his own corporation later. Uh, his ideals are to maintain order, spread the Taco Bell territory, and er usurp his uh, boss, the person directly above him, who is named he's a devil named Jordan Jones. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, his shit. bonds are to Taco Jordan. Bell, uh, the corporate board, and his paralegal secretary, Goblin. He's got a little Goblin secretary that will sometimes pop in to help. Is that uh, the... named Nod? Oh, there you go. Nod? Now oh, is that God. is that the is that the Chalupa dog on your shoulder? Is that Nod or is that someone else? That's yes. That is that's the little Chalupa dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nod. Dude. That's what they call uh, it. Right? And then the his flaws dog. are a hatred of anyone named Jordan, <laughs> an inability to not follow the rules and he is addicted to uh oh, to nice. nuts and seeds there you go he loves <laughs> nutting yeah big nut fan. oh god <laughs> okay um so yeah i i think frank talked about how uh on harmontown i have this sort of like music that i do like recaps with and maybe next time we play we can we can use that music sure, or pull sure. it up because i don't yeah. have it ready I have this other music, but I don't know. I, you know, it's all, but, uh, okay. So, um, man, uh, like I said, I didn't really, I, I rep, I prepped stuff, but I didn't like write any script stuff. So I'm just going to have to riff the explanation yeah. and stuff, but Hell yeah. okay. So, uh, you live in a place called the lands of scorn. It's the place that eventually would come to together, uh, to come together and become the earth. But for now, it's simply the lands of scorn at this point in time. Um, it's a it's a land that exists in a time loop, and as part of uh, Taco Bell's ultimate branding strategy, they've actually gone into the past when the world was still the lands of scorn to uh, found a destination location uh, of Taco Bell. You know how they have like the cantina Taco Bells and stuff? This is a Taco Bell that's in a fantasy medieval world. Like, of course, everyone's going to want to go there, go to the ye old Taco Bell, <laughs> you know, and the taco in the ye old Taco Bell has an E at the end of it. And so, yeah, they went into the past to establish this destination Taco Bell. And there they met a peasant man by the name of Glenn Bell, who uh, <laughs> went on to, you know, eventually use necromancy to live forever. But before that <laughs> point, he just became a middle branch manager of the old Taco Bell. Uh, be this was before his inevitable ascendance. So. Um, working at Yield Taco Bell, which is in a town called, are there any big dogs kind of towns that we should name this? Or um, should I come up with that? A town? 
I say just make it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so then the town's called Bellevue. The town of Bellevue. <laughs> it's in again this medieval magic land. Um, it's it's a different land than the Mushroom Kingdom because, as we all know, the Mushroom con- Kingdom connects to all the other dimensions through warp pipes. So you know, <laughs> if you find a warp pipe, you can go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. But honestly, these days the Mushroom Kingdom is completely fucked. It's a war torn <laughs> land. You know, um, everything's absolutely destroyed and bombed out. Um, you know how in, in in Mario, like the clouds and then those weird little hills have like eyes and yes. stuff? Yeah. yeah. All those eyes have like thousand yard stairs because all the hills and lands are just traumatized by the destruction. You know, there's giant blow, blow, like explosions taken out of these people and, or, and not people, I guess hills, right? Um, so it's just a really fucked up place. The Mushroom Kingdom, you know, they've... Uh, They've been trying to rebuild after the war and they eventually won. But, you know, at what cost? And (laughs) and the Koopa kids are still kind of like causing trouble and stuff through various means, although no one knows exactly where they are. But, (laughs) you know, that brings us back to Yield Taco Bell, which is a place where you guys work. You might live there, but you don't necessarily have to live there. Do you guys live at the Taco Bell or do you just live nearby? Oh. And you can also have different answers. Wario Spawn lives in the dumpster outside the U Taco Bell. He was, you know, he woke up a hell spawn and he was homeless and hungry. And he found that there was always food left over there overnight, which they would then use the next morning to make their breakfast burritos. But he would eat them in, you know, he would eat them out of the dumpster. And, you know, no one really minds because he protects the, the, <laughs> the, the, the breakfast burrito <laughs> ingredients from the rats. So, which he sometimes may eat as well. So, yeah, Wario Spawn lives in the dumpster behind the Taco Bell. So already have- you can get a feel for what kind of Taco Bell this is. <laughs> yeah, this is just a level one. Back. This is the starter zone. This is the this, this is the, the Taco Bell. This is the equivalent of yeah. the Jack in the Box in downtown San Diego, which people use as a public toilet. So it's great. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's uh, great. I, I think Hot Cheeto would definitely live in a nearby bush. There's no <laughs> specific bush, but there's a nearby bush a that bush. stinks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Night, and that's where they rest. I'd like to think that uh, every Yield Taco Bell has like, just like a very, sp- sort of like, uh, like, in a uh, like where monks would live, you know, like a cloister mm-hmm. where it's a very sparse, it's just a room and a bed and it's nothing special. But it's in the basement of the Taco Bell, and that's where like the corporate employees live, just in these little hovels. Specifically, so, the accountants, I think. Like yeah. the yeah. accountants get to live on site in the basement. It, it's kind of like a fire, like a firehouse or a fireman live or whatever, and they go down the pole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it, yeah, there's a pole that goes into my room, but it's nothing. Spe- it's just like it's a bed and a little altar to Taco Bell to do my little Taco Bell prayers. Uh, I, you know. I I also love yeah. Inklings in the chat says makes sense. Every RPG as you start start off killing rats. This just happens to be Taco. Bell rats. Exactly. See, you get it. <laughs> and and I would say that uh, you know normally because of the rogue nature of uh, of Jasmine Gambit, they would not live in one place. But the roof of the Taco Bell Ooh. is the best place for a rogue to live because that way they can always see all all the way around them. So they've set up like a like a traveler's camp. Yeah. You know, like a little like permanent camp. Yeah. Or like a Ubisoft tower. Oh, yeah. A little a little <laughs> Ubisoft. Yeah. A crow's nest. <laughs> She lives behind the big bell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, so she lives in the it, bell. Is yeah. That there is a there is a Taco Bell. There's a bell tower yeah. in that location. Yeah. She lives where in the bell tower. It, it's the famous bell tower. It's the famous Taco Bell because you guys make food and stuff. But yeah. every noon, the the Taco Bell tolls and creates a bunch of magical tacos. It's kind of like a, a promotional kind of coupon sort of situation. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you live in the bell tower. That's yeah, great. Okay, I love so that. is that that's everyone then, right? Okay. Um, so yeah, but you do work for um Taco Bell. You mostly are security. Uh, you know, like you might help take orders or clean now and again, but that's mostly up to the employees. Um, the employees uh of note are Grunge, who's like an orc. He's got green skin, you know, big tusks and long black kind of punk punk rock kind of hardcore hair, you know, and he wears black jeans and a ripped <laughs> kind of t-shirt, and uh yeah, he's totally grunge grunge and that's his name he's grunge and the other guy is toke master who's a skeleton with glowing green eyes and he doesn't wear clothes and he's a he's a huge pothead but um they are the two kind of main employees at Taco Bell. grunge and toke master holy <laughs> shit 
<laughs> Grunge and Toke Master's Excellent Adventure. Oh, those are great. I feel like I should be, I feel like I should be writing this down. Yeah, oh, so, I and again, if people want to make art of this, we'll pull it up on stream if people have art or pen. anything. This is a Grunge and Toke Master. Fuck. Grunge and Toke Master. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> And once again, there's the the manager, the branch manager, Glenn Bell. He's kind oh, yeah. of like your boss. Uh, he answers to other people. <coughs> He's kind of on a little bit of a different level than Kevin because Kevin's from corporate. So yeah. Kevin has some control over, over Glenn Bell, but Glenn Bell, Bell kind of manages the day-to-day -day operations. Um, but yeah, so you guys are hanging out at the Taco Bell. So you have come here at, from waking up and getting out of your bush and et cetera. <laughs> and, you know, you, you've gotten to the Taco Bell for your day. You know, most days you just kind of hang out and let the Taco Bell happen. But, you know, <laughs> that's what's up. So in this Taco Bell, I have the map. Um, you know, you can see this. It's not big. It's it's got a lobby. It's got kind of like a bar area where most of the seating is. And it's got a soda fountain and it's got like a kitchen with with some oh, stuff. Wow. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where you guys are. You're at that table, I guess, unless you want to be somewhere else. And I think you can pick up the tokens and move them around. If you tell me where you want to move the tokens, I can move them to. Um, but yeah, so you're in the Taco Bell to start, you know, it's about 11 AM and you guys are just like hanging out, catching up and stuff. So what do you, what do you do? Uh, all the, all the employees are there. So they're there too. There's no customers right now, I guess. Well, yeah, let me, let me, let me drag just a, a tech thing. Let me drag the Taco Bell map on my thing and I can, that way I can have it with everyone. Okay, cool. Now everyone can see it. Okay, cool. So people can see the Taco Bell map and I might scale this in a little, in a bit. Um, I'm sorry about that. Spencer, can you, so we're at the Taco Bell. You say, what do we see? Yeah. So you're, you know, you see, uh, outside there's kind of the hustle and bustle of regular business. Uh, there's occasional carts and horses and merchant stands are outside. You know, you're used to this kind of place. It's a busy kind of market street, a happening zone and inside, uh, you know, there's no customers. There's just grunge and toke master and Glenn bell and, you know, they're hanging out. So, all right. That's War kinda, yeah. Wario Spawn already wants to know when he can clock his lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so so Glenn okay, so so Glenn Bell's your boss, so I guess you'd have to ask him. All right. Uh Sir Glenn Bell! Uh, you know, I just clocked in. I, I was like ten minutes late. I'm sorry, I was I was jerking off outside. Uh in the dumpster. I was planting seed for rats to come later. Anyways. Glenn, I'm already exhausted. I washed my hands, and I feel like I need a lunch break. When can we clock our lunch break? I told you that you guys had to take care of the nacho rats in the back kitchen. Oh, uh, fuck. You saying we can't go take a lunch break until we kill the nacho rats? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because fuck. labor laws do not apply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Do I have, can, now? Can I bring my three friends with me to take? I, that's a lot of work myself. I mean, I'm not doing this shit by myself. Yeah, you guys are all on the clock right Fuck. now, and I told you walked in. I told you to take care of the rats, and you just sat down I, for about an hour and a half. <laughs> I had my PSP headphones on, bro. I was listening to Spider Man Two on UMD. Okay, all right. Uh, Yo, Taco Bell Hellions, the Scorched, come over here. Gather up. You heard the boss. We gotta go kill those not those nacho rats in the back. Uh, let's go over. Do we gotta roll to walk over? <laughs> uh, no. So you can walk into the kitchen. Yeah. All so right. uh, in the kitchen, you know, it's not super big. It's tight squeeze, and oh boy, is it covered in nacho cheese. <laughs> um, you see, Toke Master is on the ground. He doesn't look conscious, and he's just covered in like a thick, goopy web of cheese that's like sticking him to the ground. Oh no! Um, oh no! Let me go put a token for him. Yeah, he's yeah. He's like over here. You guys see that it's like a goblin. Where? Oh, are you sharing a screen for this, or is there a link I was supposed to? No, it's to... gonna be on stream. I'll, I'll give if you. That's okay, and share it I'll on. I'll give you the link. Oh yeah, yeah in the D and D notes, we can see it. Okay, cool. So I can see the token for the D and D thing, and I'll make it even bigger for the stream. Okay, cool. This is rad. Oh, I see now. Okay. Okay. So that I just put it in the chat. Oh so yeah, that's a bit of my bad. The scenes my bad. Situations. But yeah, if you want to look at the map on your own screen, you can do that. I think like you can move your tro tokens around. If you hold the middle click, you can kind of move the map around. Or if you scroll the wheel, you can kind of zoom in or out. That's the main. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. okay, rad. Okay, cool. I get it now. Let's okay. All oh, right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's grunge. So, oh, I guess that's 
Toke Master. All right, uh, oh, yeah. Toke this Master, is, sorry. So that's I, I I put the wrong token. So Grunge is actually over here, but Toke Master is down on the floor. He's in this pile of boxes and goods, uh, <laughs> you know, Taco Bell supplies. Got but it. he's again, he's covered in cheese, and you don't know, you know, you, I guess it probably is related to the Nacho Rats. That would be weird if it wasn't, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh no, yeah. to- Toke Master. Help me. <laughs> Toke, are you, you too stoned? What's going on? I fell down and and I just woke up in a pile of cheese, man. Oh shit! Okay, well, is this cheese? Is this cheese hurting you, or is it? Can I lick it off you? It's hot. Oh, it burns. Oh, it, it, it would have burned my skin off if okay. I, you know, had skin. I've got can white. I, uh, yeah. Can I look around to see if maybe there's some nacho rats in hiding? <laughs> like, I want to make sure we're not about to get nacho jumped. Yeah, so let's talk about this because this is our first official role. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so everybody look at your character sheets. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so on the left hand side, you have your stats, and you should have a stat on the left hand side called wisdom, and it should say like plus zero, plus one, or something like that. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So everyone, uh, let's all help Ryan um, look for the rat. So everyone's going to make a perception check for learning. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the d20 and you're going to roll it, and then you're going to add your per- you're going to add your wisdom modifier to that. Okay. But if you have a skill called perception, then it'll change. But let's just do wisdom. Okay. Uh, unless you have it, Ryan. Proficient in perception. Do. Yeah. So this is going to so. be pl- this will be plus six. Okay. So so yeah, roll the dice and then add your wisdom modifier. So I'm going to roll it. I just rolled a twenty, so but I'm not playing, right? Oh, nice. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, I roll. Do I add it? Do I add it to the sheet directly, or just? Uh... So for this, you just roll the dice, okay. and then you say what the number is plus what the modifier is. So uh, if your modifier is say plus three, you just add three and then say that. Okay. So I got a two sense? plus one, so three. Two plus one, yeah. So three. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's a low roll. You don't see anything. You don't see any nacho rats. I'm fucking blind. I. Uh... I got, with my modifier, I got a 13. Okay. Uh, what about everyone else? You guys want to roll two? I, I got a 13. I got a okay. five plus eight. Ooh. So 13. Wow. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're talking but about, I think, you're talking about oh, this wait. column, right? Yeah, but I don't see a modifier in it. I think you had Next plus. The perception. Oh, 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 your modifier might be minus one. My bad. Let me check for. But I think I have a solution to lure them. I can uh-huh. use oh, okay. my Cheeto gotcha, gotcha. dust to bring them <laughs> near us. Right. Uh, but that has a short range. You can like shoot out Cheeto dust. So you have to kind of uh, go where you think they'll be before you do that. But yeah, you can do that if you pick where you think they might be. Yeah. They stinkers. So do we do, do do me and Frank see anything with a 13? Yeah, so with a 13 perception, you are going to be able to see a couple rats that are hiding underneath the stairs. There's a, a spiral staircase that kind of goes up and it goes into the upper floors and it also goes down into the basement where Kevin lives. <laughs> Um, but these guys are just kind of in the staircase, kind of hiding in the staircase. You see two rats, but you, you can hear there might be some other rats too that you can't see. I'll just point over the stairs and I'll go, um, guys, uh, we need to, there are rats there. I do not want them in my personal quarters. Uh, please take care of that. I'm all cheesed up. <laughs> Help me out of this cheese. Hold on, Toke Master. Wait, before we attack this, I... Hot Cheetos, are these your pets? Or are any of these under your care? Are these rats with you? Oh, what? The rats are not with me. These guys keep licking off my dust and I don't want them around me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Well, all right. I, you know what? I, I like to shoot first and ask questions later. Do I have Kevin Hill? Do I have authority on behalf of Taco Bell to uh, use my butt stomp on them? Or no? Wait, 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 wait. To use my where my my abilities? Do I have uh, to use my uh, where is it? Do I have a elder? Oh, oh. Let me chain whip these guys. Can I roll the chain whip them? Uh. Yeah. So, uh, wait. Well, what is Kevin? Can he do that or not? Uh, you're the um. Uh, any damages accrued by your whip that aren't rat based will be taken out of your pay. Please, oh, no. please <laughs> watch out for uh, damaging the supplies. Just hit the rats. I'm okay with collateral damage. If I, you know, these rats might cause these rats are going to be eating all of these rats are going to be eating all my leftover food. So I got to get rid of them. They're competition. I'm going to go for the kill. 
All right. So, uh, yeah, I guess everybody should roll initiative at this point, because as you go to, like, you know, sh whip your chain at these rats, it looks at you with a with a terrifying gleam in its eye that screams danger. <laughs> so it's ready to fight. Um, so, yeah, everyone is going to roll initiative now. So if you want to go, uh, it's kind of at the upper left top of the sheet. There's something called initiative. And so we're going to do another thing where we roll the dice and then we're going to add our initiative bonus to it. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's called rolling initiative. So that's what we're going to do. And that'll determine what order we go in combat. All right. And do we use the D20 for that? Yep. All right. Oh, do come you want on. numbers or do you want to wait? <laughs> uh, I'll take the numbers. Yeah. The I, got, I, got a, I got a seven. Okay. I got a, I got a one. <laughs> I, I got a three. I got an eight. Okay. Okay, so Jasmine Gambit's going to be first, and then uh, Kevin, So, uh, and then uh, the rat. Audrey, did, did you add to the one? Mm, let me check. Uh, I got three, actually. Yeah, okay, I, yeah. I just saw. So then it's the rest of you guys all go at the same time after the rats. So, yeah, Jasmine Gambit is going to go first. Like I said, you see two rats that are kind of on the stairs, and you can hear other rats. Um, so, yeah, um, you have your stick that you can or what it's called like bow staff that you yes. can whack people with and you also can throw bombs so mm -hmm. those or you could do other stuff too but those are kind of like your attack powers you know you're a real person in the world so if you wanted to pick up a salt shaker and shake salt on it you know you could do anything but mm -hmm. but your attack powers are those no bombs in the taco bell <laughs> oh right <laughs> um oh okay. you also have non-lethal bombs though oh, okay. oh they're not as dangerous we should okay. go with the bombs <laughs> Kevin Hill, the minute he sees a bomb, is freaking out. <laughs> uh, the I product! Think, I, <laughs> the I think product. it's a great idea. I think I would, yeah. I think my, my first response would be to, to try to use my bow staff and, and do a swiping attack oh. and, and hit uh, the two rats. Okay, yeah. Um, so you're going to roll an attack. Now, in the kind of middle of your sheet, you see attacks and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you see your staff and what it says, like, for numbers? Um... <laughs> Bow staff plus yeah. four, uh, one damage, eight plus two, uh, BLG. Okay, cool. So what that means is when you roll the attack, you're going to add four, right? It said plus four. Mm -hmm. And then if it hits, you do one D8, which that was the two pyramids dice. Okay. So you're going to roll that if you hit, and then you add the number. You said one D8 plus two. So you yeah. roll that and then you add two. If you hit. And then the BLG is a kind of damage. It's bludgeoning damage, which is like from punching or hitting someone with a club. Okay. So the first thing we do is we're going to roll the attack, the D20, and add four. So okay. roll that. All right. I, I, I roll a two. Oh, first. All right. So roll the D20. Yep. And then add four. Uh, What is that? 11? 11. And that's plus the four? No, it's uh, uh, 11 rolled and then so 15 plus the four. Yeah, so perfect. So so yeah, most of the time when you when you are rolling an attack or whatever, uh it's the total number that's total the most number. important, like the highest number, you know? Cuz so so you rolled a 15 in total, which is pretty good. You can hit most low level monsters with a 15. So yeah, you do. You crack the you crack the nacho rat. Um so now you get to roll damage. So do you have oh, the D8? Oh. The D8 is the one that looks like two pyramids, right? Like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I just roll that. Yep, and then you'll add two, and then that's how much damage you'll do. So I got three. Okay. So, and that's plus the two? Yep. Okay, so yeah, you know, uh, oh, we just got raided. Hey, well, Raiders. We're welcome, Jackson. Yo! Yo. We're trying to kill rats in these Taco Bells. We need your help. How y'all doing? Welcome to our quest, everybody. Everywhere. Everyone is cheesy. We need some help. We just got a ton of customers. Oh my god! Okay, we gotta take care of these rats. Oh we have yeah, so yeah, many customers in the front. Rush. Oh shit! <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. The more can I actually watching, the more can I actually can I actually leave the fight and go take care of the customers? You can, but you gotta wait till your turn to do that. Yeah, but yeah you hear a bunch of customers. Yeah, the customers are pissed, and oh, oh man, man. <laughs> and be sure to follow us and cheer if you want to order something. You know, <laughs> let us know what chalupa, what you want on yeah, your chalupa. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I love the nacho cheese chalupa, and they got rid of that, oh. and it's a oh. bummer. Oh, but okay, so. Oh, I was thinking of the cheesy gordita crunch. That's like my. 
Yeah, that's a it's so good. I got like three of those the other day. Nice. That was the nice. best day of my life. <laughs> um, but you hit with the nacho rat. So how do you want to attack the nacho rat? Again, you have the stick. Describe yeah. how you kind of attack it. Uh, I, I'm going to take it with like a sweeping swipe across, you know, like to try to hit both of the rats that are there. Uh, or am I only allowed to hit one at a time with this bow stuff? Um, with this, like you don't have the ability to hit more than one, but what happens is, yeah, you kind of, you kind of do a sweeping thing to kind of knock it off its legs, but it's a rat. So you just kind of catch it in its chin and instead you just whip it at the other rat and it just knocks into the other rat and they both kind of skitter across the floor. Hell yeah. Um, but the rat you hit, you hit so hard, it explodes and like cheese goes everywhere. And oh it's no. Just, like, yeah, now there's nacho cheese all over the yeah. stairs, um, but one of them is dead, a, so there's only one nacho rat left. This is a slipping hazard. We could be sued. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so then it's Ryan's turn. Okay, it does uh, Toke Master look like he's bleeding out? <laughs> no, no, he's fine other than he's being covered in cheese. Yeah, also, he's a skeleton. <laughs> okay. I can, this is okay, great. well... Uh, uh, then I'm going to look at the other rat and go, um, I'm evicting you from the premises, and I'm going to toll the dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, do we have the bell sound? Yeah, I just hit it. I just yeah, hit press it. the bell. Yeah. yeah boom. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to make that rat roll a wisdom save, DC 16. Okay. Uh, What's going no, it on? failed. All so, right. So usually you do an attack roll, right? Just like Brian did. But sometimes when you cast magic, the other guy has to do a roll. So that's what just happened. The other guy failed. So the attack hits. So Toll the Bell is what is Toll the Bell? It's a spell where you, you hear like a bell toll and then everyone takes like necrotic damage, right? Like, uh, like it, evil. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a one. It's a direct attack to one person. Uh, and if they've already taken damage, they take more damage. But if they're I'm assuming this is. Rat this is not is taking any health, damage. Yeah. So it's just going to do 1d8, and it's going to take 5 damage. Okay, also describe the spell. Obviously, you're a cleric, so what does your magic look like if, if someone saw you cast Toll the Bell? Ryan, do you write... 5 necrotic oh, okay. damage. That's what we're, we're calling it Toll the Bell instead of Toll the Dead, because uh, what's going to come up is I'm going to just wave my hand around, and the Taco Bell logo bell is going to come out of like a wisp <laughs> of necrotic energy, and you're going to hear that. Play the, Play it again. Did it. Boom. And then the enemy is going to be filled with like this just dread knowing that the bell is coming for them and they're going to take five <laughs> necrotic damage. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, the the rat, it withers and, and dies and it kind of turns into cheese dust like you'd Ooh. see in like a macaroni and cheese kind of yes. package. Ah, uh, yes. Easier to sweep up for later. <laughs> So yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. like I, I said, you can hear other rats, but the kind of rat sounds disperse. It seems like the rats have kind of started to scatter. So uh, and and Toke Master again, it's like, why are you killing rats? I'm down here on the floor. I'm stuck to the ground in cheese. I thought we were friends. What's <laughs> happening? Uh, I needed to make sure they didn't attack you. You're a valuable employee. And I don't want to write this up as a workers compensation incident. <laughs> Get me up! What are you doing? Come on! <laughs> All right, can I? Can Warrior Spawn use his magic cape? I don't want to touch him if he's like covered in cheese, and uh, you know. Well, so I'll pout and I can lick off the rest of the cheese out while oh. you guys are fighting. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because no, I kind of, you... I kind of like it. I think it's gonna make me stronger at the end of the shift. Yeah. So you, you, you do you know you are a special cheese a cheeto fairy you know yeah. so uh you gain power from cheese um you you lick off all the cheese and you feel yourself get like a tiny bit bigger like just the <laughs> tiniest amount swollen yeah on cheese so like you know you're adding cheese to your mass essentially um, but <laughs> nice. but toke master's like well that was weird but thank you i appreciate the help um, no problem <laughs> is, who's at the register I'm gonna. Oh, can, no. can, I, can I run up to the register now that we're done it, it, with the encounter? Are we out of combat? Yeah. Now we're out of combat oh. because the rats kind of left. If you want to chase the rats, you can, but they're not, you know, doing anything right now. I'm yeah. trying to remember what a Cajun voice sounds like. Uh, <laughs> Ed, just do, just do water boy Ed, down there on the bayou. Down down the bayou. <laughs> Miss Cleo. No, that's not Cajun. <laughs> Um, oh, fuck. Now I can't do it because I'm laughing. Listen, uh, yeah. I better go this. take care of the register, Sherry. Ooh. And then I run off to the front. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Peter Pat. Nice. Like, it's like French and Southern. Yeah. Thank you, monkey, for following me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then I guess I'll, I'll yeah, I, I start helping uh, the giant line of customers that came in from uh, the Bulbtastic tour. All right, so yeah, um, there's oh. that you see five. Uh, oh they, no! They look like orcs? What? <laughs> I'm just I'm screaming because all of a sudden there's so many orcs at the, at the bar. Oh shit! Yeah, we got a full table. Yeah, they all oh, showed up fuck. while you guys were back there. Um, these orcs, they are specific in that they all look very beaten up. They're covered in scars and stuff. And uh, they also have kind of these tattoos on their shoulders that look kind of like dots or, or speckles or something. And they also wear these uh, small yellow paper crowns. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Does anyone have history or geography or anything in their skills? Uh, oh, Wario Spawn is a history. He's a, he's lived through so much shit and like going to hell. He saw so many demons. He, he's, he's, <laughs> he's an ace when it comes to history. Yeah. So do you see uh, do you see your your what do you I, call it? Your history number, like a number on your history. Oh yeah, I do section. not. Let me let me pull up my thing. Where the hell? I think I think uh, Frank does, but I don't think anyone else does because I don't think anyone else no. has. Yeah, uh, I'm, his I'm, no. I'm history plus three. Yeah. Okay, so what? Well, how about what you do is uh, you can roll roll the dice twice and pick whatever the higher number is. All right, which and one? And then uh, the d twenty, and Got it. then add three to it because you're plus three. Okay, so. I so one was 11, the other... Let's smash my head with this dice. Ah. And then one's nine. Sorry for the sound so close to the thing. Um, okay, so the highest I got was 11 plus history. I got 14. All right, yeah. So since you're talking with your friends, they can kind of help you remember and like bring up details. So you you roll with advantage. When you roll twice and then you take the higher one, that's called advantage. So if I say roll with advantage, that's what it means. Okay. I'll remind you, but yeah. Um, so if you're doing, if you're like good at something, you might roll with advantage. Anyway, you do remember who these are. You know, this is market research. You know the field. You know your competitors and stuff. And this is a tribe of orcs and lizard people uh, who kind of live together in these swamps and um in mountains um they're known as the burger kin um they <laughs> worship the burger um you've heard that they take their orders from the burger king but you don't know about that you don't you've only you know you've only heard about, about that and uh you know that they uh encourage everyone to think inside the bun no. so you can see how, how that's a problem oh no mm. these are hated but, rivals <laughs> Yeah, but today they're just here and they're making a bunch of noise. They just want to. I apparently it sounds like they just want tacos, you know. Dude, I'm I'm already I'm, suspicious of this because I feel like what Burger King, what the Burger King always do is they come to our place, they take they take you know they they try our foods out, and then soon enough there's gonna be a limited edition item at Burger King where they're ripping off our tacos. So this is market research, but they're here to steal our secret formula. Uh, can I make a, can I make a roll, Spencer? Sure. What do you want to try and I'd do? Like, I'd like to roll insight to see if it. Do I get the sense that like are they posturing? Are they checking the place out? Are they like trying yeah, I, to like look yeah, like they're casing the joint, or do they look like they're actually just here for? Are you gonna roll insight yeah. the bun? <laughs> I mean, are, are, yeah, are, I'm gonna roll insight the bun. Yeah. Are they interested? So, was the question? What did you? Yeah, ask are they about? interested into getting food? Or are they just there to hang out and kind of? Making her scared because yeah, I can smell loitering? the burger. I can smell the burger out of their like faces, so I, and I don't like that. I have a plus six on insight, so that's going to be uh, in total a twenty, a dirty twenty. <laughs> right. So yeah, they are talking about how they want food and stuff, but you use your insight to determine if they're trying to like deceive you or trying to trick you in some way, you know, and you do, you, you feel that these guys, they're here to cause trouble. You think they do want the food, but they're not here just for the food. That's kind of what you can sense off of their kind of body language and stuff. Mm. If that makes sense. I'm going to, I'm going to sidle up to Wario spawn and yeah. just under my breath go. Well, I'm going to uh, be in the kitchen preparing with my hot Cheeto <laughs> dose. I'm going to prepare the best taco in the meantime while Frank is distracting them because I see there's a lot of work going on and my little fairy butt cannot do all yeah. this. So I'm preparing all the tactical. Yeah, I'm just going to go all up right. to Warrior Spawn and I'm just going to be like, uh, just watch these guys. I don't, I don't, They don't look like they're up to any good. Well, all right. Could I begin to start like a spell to maybe uh, put in their tacos? <laughs> so if something goes awry, they have like, you know, a, a, a debuff or something like that to make them slow or sleepy. <laughs> Um, okay, so what you could do is you could try and convince them to kind of calm down. Um, but you can you can take their order for sure. But yeah, you or you could do both. I guess you could you'd be all like, "Hey, man, I took your order. 
chill the fuck out. You know, you could do kind of like that. I don't think you have magic quite yet, but you'll get magic, I think, next level or in two levels, maybe. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Can I, like, okay. roll my taco delivering? <laughs> okay, yeah. So you roll a dexterity check, and then, uh, Brian, you roll a persuasion or a charisma check. Um, okay. So okay. roll your dice and add your dexterity bonus or your charisma bonus for Brian. Oh, so okay. Movie, I got the I got charisma? 13 plus 2 for dexterity of my delivery on the taco. <laughs> All right. That's really good. Okay. And then, oh, yeah. Let's roll. So I got... What did you call it? Is that 15? That is a, yeah, 15. 15, and then, we're, I, I'm sorry, where's the dexterity on the on here? Or the so bonus? you find your charisma, which is on the bottom kind of left of the stats. Okay, plus, um, so that would be, I'm sorry, so it would be 17. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so you take his order. Um, he wants, they all want gordita, uh, cheesy gordita crunches. And um, he, he's like, when's it going to, we've been waiting here forever. And you're like, you know, we took care of an issue. It's going to be fine. You know, and he's like, oh, OK. And then he goes and sits down. Um, but then meanwhile, um, Hot Cheetos blasts out of there with a freshly made uh, Doritos Loco. <laughs> no, I guess it's a Cheetos Loco taco. Right? Yeah. yeah. Damn, yeah. that sounds so this good. This is our speciality. Like, this is our limited item. They better like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they come out and everyone's uh, uh, they start uh, the what do you call it? The Burger King or kin um they start applauding when you come out the, the taco because it's really impressive it's almost glowing you know yeah and uh the first guy he takes it and they all just go to the table um to watch him eat it because everyone's really impressed um so he eats it and it is really good and everyone starts applauding but then you hear a terrible rumbling sound and a, a weird kind of magical sound that sounds kind of like whoop, whoop. it sounds like <laughs> that oh um, no oh no and then uh, the the Burger King kind of start looking around. And they're like, "What the fuck? What was that? What do you do?" What? Okay. Um. Uh, uh, okay. So basically, I serve them the fucking tacos, and then there's a magic sound going on. Is it yeah. from the taco or from the outside? Uh, uh, you don't think it's from from the taco, but I guess it might be. But yeah, it sounded like it came from outside or like above you or something. It sounded like someone used the nearby warp pipe. Oh no! <laughs> is there a warp pipe on the roof of the Taco Bell? No, there's not. But there is okay. a warp pipe in town. <gasps> okay. Hmm. Do we uh, do we run outside to yeah, see what the what the sound? Yeah, is? we just uh, yeah. Well, I'm taking care of the customers. Yeah. I'm not leaving the Burger King in the Taco Bell alone. All right, like I'm worried. This is a distraction. Okay, this, uh, this, so. this sounds like a job for the X Force. Uh, Wario Spawn and, and not, Jasmine. We're not calling ourselves the X Force. Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine Gamut. That's these are just the X Soldiers. Yeah, you know, this is because we're yeah. the X Force. Yeah, you guys are the civilians, but we're the X Force. You yeah. guys are kind of like the new mutants or something. So you, you and I go into like fucking you know wartime mode. We're like we gotta go. Yeah, we all have right. to at least. We're being check sent out, out to war. We're being sent outside. Uh, we're okay. Uh, Jasmine Gambit, let's let's go outside. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity. Let's clock our lunch. Let's get the fuck out of here. But you know, let's go. Let's make sure the joint is okay outside. Let's get out of here. Frank, you oh. gotta sound more like Wario. Oh, ah, wah! I hear some shit go. is happening outside. It could be there money. It could be hellions. We could shake them down for money or food. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we shall be. We must go outside. Oh, I, oh, I heard it's new comic book day. We might have the new spawn. I could beat character them up voice. and take it. Hey. Okay, you got it. Okay. I love character voices. Okay, let's go get the fuck out of here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna go check it out. What about uh and and Kevin wants to monitor the Burger King? What I, I want to. Okay. Can go I? Ahead. Is this is is this like the door right here? Is this the area that would you call like the uh, front door? Wh which area? Where I, where I put my guy. This is. Can you see this cursor? Yes. Oh, I can. Th this is the front door, oh. and there's also. I guess this is more the front door. Oh, but those this are is doors. Kind of, they're both yeah. front doors. Oh, 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 those are doors. Okay. Which yeah, door kind of are? Rugs. Which door are Jasmine Gambit and Warrior Spawn going uh, through? I would say the oh, like. Which way are they going? So this one probably. Yeah. That one. Okay. If Jasmine Gambit is leaving the the register, I so, think that Kevin Hilt is gonna guard the register, but make sure that he has line of sight so he can see in case like some yeah. bad shit goes down. Cool. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So these. Th I'm looking through the windows to make sure that they get shit first, and then I come and save them. Yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, so who are you coming to save? Sorry. Well, I like I like uh, I like I like um, Wario and Gambit go first, so they can they can see what's up. Right. So you're kind of watching. You're monitoring yeah. the situation. Okay. So you guys are both going to wait and see. And, you know, if anything happens, you can kind of run and, and go deal with it and stuff. Yeah. But you're also watching the Burger King. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. So you come outside, and what you see is a nearby building. Um, it's like it's like someone took a 3d eraser and just like cut out a spherical shape of this building that looks like it's it's a church it's a church to uh the church of gravity people oh, no. who believe in the power of gravity oh. but yeah there's this big kind of orb kind of bite taken out of it almost like i don't know like a, a black hole or something and then you can also see, you can see people have rushed outside to see what was the matter because the shaking and the rumbling and stuff and they're all kind of gathered to see this happening and um off in the distance you can see an airship kind of flying around Whoa. but it's really far away uh. it looks like it'll probably take like half an hour to get here if it's even and you can't it's so far away you can't even tell if it's approaching but um, but what you can see is there's a couple really notable things um, because they trigger your memories of the Mushroom Wars. Um, you can see bob bombs. Um, oh. You know bob bo bombs. Oh yeah. yes. Um, but okay. these, but these ones look different because their eyes are just completely black. They even look blacker than the bob bombs themselves. You know, they're kind of this shiny kind of black, but then yeah. their eyes are just like these empty kind of holes that kind of look fucked up. Um, and you can see one of them is just kind of, you know, they kind of walk like wind up toys. Yeah. One of them's kind of like walking. You can see about three of them, but one of them is kind of walking. It's the closest. And um, a kid kind of walks up to it and the bob bomb just kind of turns white and it uh, turns in. Um, you can see kind of out of it emits this black orb, this black bubble that just swallows it and it swallows the kid. And then the orb disappears. <laughs> and You can see this giant chunk taken out of the ground. And everything oh, just in the yeah. disappeared. Holy shit. And now you can see two more of these bob bombs. They're really slow, but they're kind of walking towards <laughs> uh towards uh your your Taco Bell. Oh no. shit, Princess uh, uh, Jasmine Gambit! Holy fuck! That fucking bob just fucking uh, uh, did some shit to that kid and they disappear! And now a chunk of the ground is missing. What the fuck? Ah, uh, they're coming over here, man! <laughs> I remember things like this from the war. Oh, don't give me flashback, man. That's fucked up. But I, I never thought we would see this again. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. This technology <laughs> fell in the wrong hands. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we might have some kind of future war in our hands. Oh, no. This is like days of future past. <laughs> we better get back inside and regroup with the others. Oh, shit. No, man. I just went on my lunch break. I got ten more minutes, man. <laughs> fuck Taco Bell. I want to quit. <laughs> But if we don't come up with a plan, we're going to be somebody. Hey, else. man, I, we were fucking soldiers, man. We don't uh, fucking ask questions. We fucking fuck Mario them up. Spawn, um, let me remind you, if you quit, you're immediately sent back to hell. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, shit, man. What the devil? I made the deal with the devil, man. Fuck this shit, man. All right, let's go fuck them up. Let's go fuck up the bomb bombs, man. Hey, man, your bomb uh, bombs are better than these guys, man. Fuck them up, man. I'm going to tell Grunge to watch the register because after seeing this, I know I want to be hey, with them. I you, don't want to leave them. You better keep four eyes on Grunge, so. man. He fucking steals from the register, man. Normally, I don't say shit, man, but uh, that's going to be coming out of my paycheck, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, all, so, bro of range, bro for range, right? Frank sounds like a slightly Italian strong bag. <laughs> Name. It sounds like the Tony Montana character in the Scarface game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, Barry, you want to get some ice cream? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, okay, shit. so okay. what's the plan? Like, these things, they seem right. capable of just killing anything, well, you know, within a second. So okay. it's definitely dangerous. We gotta I guess stop them. I think the close radius, cl close know? proximity is a outside. bad idea. Yeah, close proximity is a bad idea. I have, I do have, a, do I have my gun ability? I have a gun ability that might have the yeah, farthest range. Have I have you Eldritch also Blast. have the Eldritch Blast. Yeah, what's the thing but where I can, yeah. What, what, what's we, we need to stop them. Damage. They cannot get close to the Taco Bell. Yeah. We need to yeah, go so outside and stop them from making it to us. Right. So right now they're about 40 feet away from the oh, Taco Bell. Shit, and they are man. like walking towards the Taco Bell, but they are very slow. They got five so feet got closer. <laughs> okay. Fuck this. Okay. They're 40 feet, man. Okay. My chains don't work that far, man. I'm, I'm working out, but it's not big enough yet. <laughs> hey, I'm going to use my Eldritch Blast, man. Fuck them up for sure. Are we on the same um, initiative? <laughs> 
Uh, right now we're out of initiative. It's just everyone's going to kind of take one or two turns and then the bob will move, basically. Okay. That's the kind of situation. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, do, do we roll a roll yeah. of attack? I'm going to roll my fucking... Well, got LG yeah, what do you want to do? Range capabilities. Range capabilities? You well, can we can't get rocks, near it. Right? We can't yeah. get near yeah, it. Yeah, I can throw it little rocks at them. <laughs> Should I give it a try? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, okay, do so, I roll it? So on the middle of your sheet, you'll see your attacks, and it should say, like, Dusty Rocks or something. Do you see that? Yes, Dusty Rock plus six. <laughs> <laughs> dusty Rock. Yeah. So, nice. okay, so you're going to roll the d20 and then add six to see if you hit. I got it 18 plus six. Okay, yeah, so 24. That definitely hits. Yeah, so now you get to roll damage, which is, I think, is it 1d6, did it say? One, yeah, 1d6 plus four. 1d6? Yeah, that's a normal dice, like the square Okay, one. a normal dice? Okay, so I got six. Okay, plus four, six right? Plus... So yes. ten? Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, you you whip out one of your dusty rocks, which I think is like a Cheeto. It's like a ball <laughs> of Cheetos dust yes. like nice. that gets stuck together. So you pull out one of these out of your armpit or something, and you wag it at, um, at the bomb on, and it, you, it, it hits and kind of leaves this soft kind of and you Glitter can see this, right up. <laughs> yeah it's like this orange stain on the side of the bob bombs kind of black surface so um he gets knocked back about five feet by the impact of the blow and he gets knocked off his feet and you can see his feet kind of moving um but he hasn't exploded yet but he's <laughs> not dead but you did a lot of damage and knocked him over try to do better as me guys <laughs> <laughs> okay who who goes next man i'm ready to fuck him up uh, you could go next. Yeah, All right, yeah. man. I'm gonna, or if you have any kind of combo moves oh, or something. You know what? Wait. If you let me go first, Frank, I can combo this a little bit. All right. You fuck it. Whatever you want, man. Go for it, man. All right. So there's one that's not moving, and there's one that's still coming towards us. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. That move, that, get, right. get that moving fucker, man. So Take him out. One that's still moving. I'm going to use one of my oh, only fucking two spell slots. <laughs> man, it sucks being level one. I'm going to use a spell <laughs> slot, and I'm going to cast a level one guiding bolt. You think that's bad? Mm hmm. So spawn bad. What? Yeah, someone said spawn <laughs> on bad. Spawn spawn bad's pretty good. Natural <laughs> fucking twenty. What? Okay, so that's a good oh man, good thing you rolled, man. Holy shit! <laughs> so if you roll a twenty, if on the dice that comes up is the twenty, that's a critical hit. Um, and if you roll a one, that's a critical failure. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, if you get a critical hit, you do double damage. So I think Guiding Bolt does 46 damage, right? So you're going to do 86 damage instead. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... That is 10, 15, 17, and then another... 15, another 17. So what is that? That's 34. 34. So that's 34 points of damage. Hitting? The one that's still coming towards us. Okay. It's going to be 34 points of damage, and the next attack against it before the end of my next turn has advantage. Ooh. Well, there's not going to be a next attack. Well, fuck. Because uh, you did 34 damage to it. Um, but what does Guiding Bolt look like? Again, it's another spell. What does it look like when you cast it? Oh, yeah. So this is my way of like trying to make sure that people can see what's going on. So I'm just going to wave my hands and a, and a flaming nacho full of <laughs> nacho cheese on it pointing directly at the enemy is going to just lodge itself right in its forehead Nice. And then glow bright as a way to say, hit right here. <laughs> yeah, and also the heat of the cheese kind of steams off of it, so it's almost kind of like glowing with these steam lines. Yeah, yeah, because it's know? radiant damage, so it's this radiant cheese power. Yeah, so that I does... <laughs> well, so you don't want to do that because it starts flashing <laughs> as it gets hit by your your Dorito, and, oh, um, and it starts flashing, it explodes the same way. It makes this black kind of circle that emanates out of it, and then kind of goes back and everything's gone takes this big kind of bubble shaped chunk out of the ground but it's not near anyone when it explodes okay. so yeah it's gone you killed it oh um, shit. excellent that yeah. was better than i expected <laughs> good shit man yeah does anyone have anything they want to do to the last one okay. it's on, if it's not moving right now it has to get back Wait, up on its we, i think we should keep it as a pet no man get the fuck oh, no. away it's gonna blow up man no. get the fuck out man can we keep it as no a pet? man it's dangerous <laughs> shit uh, man no you don't play with that shit but man. something like this might be a good thing on the battlefield <laughs> 
Yes, if you kept like it somewhere witch. away from you, you know, it might, you, you, it wouldn't kill anybody if you kept away from it, right? How big you is could it? potentially do something. <laughs> I, it's uh, maybe about the size of a bowling ball, right? Yeah. Uh, Can I keep it in my bush? No, this thing is no, not allowed anywhere bush. near the fucking. <laughs> hey, top. man. Blow this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, going to look at Jasmine Gavin go, shoot, throw your bombs against its bombs. Let's see it. <laughs> I got fucking I got I got taco I got taco shell crumbs in my bush man yeah Okay. Yeah, I want to throw, I want to throw one of my uh, uh, non-lethal bombs at it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so yeah, so roll an attack. So that's again twenty, and then your bomb should say plus something. Okay. I can look that up too. Bomb oh. is, um, so it says thirteen. It doesn't say plus thirteen. It just says thirteen. Oh, so yeah, that's because, uh, like I said, spells kind of work a little bit different. Instead of you rolling, I have to roll for a spell. So oh. I'm going to roll a, a, a dexterity save of 13 to kind of avoid. That's like you throw the bomb, right? And then they can kind of dive out of the way of the grenade. That's kind of what's happening. They kind of do that. But he misses his save, so it hits oh. with the bomb. So you get to do whatever. The, what does the damage say? Uh, 1d10 plus 3 fire. Okay, awesome. So the d10 is that kind of cones one remember um so you're gonna roll that and add three it's it's the the kind of two it's also kind of evangelian looking but not the oh same yeah is it is it one of these ones one of these two like uh um, it's the one with 10 it's the one with 10 sides uh, yeah it'll have a zero on it or oh, two zeros okay. let me see Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine has like two sevens on it also, right? Or No, that's uh, a one. Yeah, sorry, my bad. That's fine. Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, so roll, roll that, that. And, and add three. Uh, said so be five. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so um, your, what is it called? So your, your kinetic charge is like your mutant power, right? Mm -hmm. And you can charge different things with kinetic power. So what do you want to charge before you throw? Like, what are you throwing? Is it a playing card? You have playing cards, but you could do other stuff too. Um, I'll just do a playing card. Okay, yeah. So you whip your playing card, you know, you flip it right directly at it. It hits the, the bob bomb in the face, and then you can see its, its surface starts to rupture as it kind of explodes. But what it explodes into is these bubbles. It explodes into bubbles that just, like, blast in all directions. And you can see as the bubbles kind of impact the ground and stuff, they, they pack a punch, but they're bubbles as opposed to, like, flaming shrapnel or something, you know? So oh. um, they all just kind of explode around the bob bomb, and you can see the bob bomb's eyes turn into x's and it gets knocked out oh yeah that's awesome so, yeah it's not dead but it's it's knocked out um so yeah now this combat's over too you took care of the the bob bombs uh and one of them was knocked out so do you want to go like capture it or or something obviously it can explode if you're not careful so you gotta be careful <laughs> if you want to deal with that but yeah no i believe it die it's too weak for me now <laughs> I don't want weaklings in my shrub. I would use that term now. <laughs> can we call bomb disposal? The bomb disposal team? You can, sure. Yeah, there's there's a city guard. You know, you don't know what they're all capable of, but they would definitely be someone to call in a circumstance like this. <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, I have a question. Where They're from like a portal, right? Uh, you don't know where they're from. Um, you just saw them. Um, there are people who are out on the street. You could talk to them and see if they have any information. Okay, can I go talk to this very sketchy buff guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, there's a very sketchy buff guy. And, and you talk with a him. crown! With a crown! Whoa. With a oh, <laughs> one of the Burger King? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Adam so the, the Burger King, we're inside the restaurant. Um, but yeah. Do you want to go back in the restaurant? Oh, yes. I will go back to the restaurant. Okay. I'm going to try to intimate one to no information. Well, what you see when you're inside is you don't see any of the Burger King. You instead see Grunge, and he's all tied up. No! Oh, my God. Oh, Grunge is tied up? Yeah. Okay. What? I run, oh, I run no. right away to Did go Did we home. get robbed? <laughs> I immediately checked the register. Did we get um, robbed? Yeah, so you go... <laughs> 
you go and and you you run and untie him. You don't untie him. What did you say about the bomb bomb? Or you do untie him? Sorry. What, what about the bomb? Oh, I just said did we get robbed during the bomb bomb? Oh yeah, basically while that was happening, you think something must have gone. You, like the they must have pulled something. Like you said, you know the the Burger King they seem suspicious when, but then you left you left Grunge to take care of him, and I guess he wasn't up to the task. God I damn it. Um, but so yeah, Grunge is okay. You untie him, he's fine. He's like, yeah, you know they don't pay me enough, so I just uh, <laughs> decided to go in the corner and they tied me up. God damn. And uh, the the cash register isn't cleaned out. It's oh. there's all the money is still there. And he was like, they ran upstairs. <gasps> upstairs? Oh, That's shit. That's where I oh. live. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get up there immediately. The, our recipes are up there. Oh, shit, man. Are the rats out of the way? I don't see no fucking rats anymore, man. We can climb these stairs. Yeah, okay. so can you guys see the second floor? Does it show up now? Oh, wait. Uh, yes, I can see the second uh, yeah, floor. Oh, yeah. oh shit, up. man. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Fuck, yeah. <gasps> Those are our quarters. Damn, bro. Yeah, so if you live here or if you want to stay here, you can. There's little desks. There's chests. To whoa, 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 stuff. whoa. Wait, though. You guys had fucking beds? <laughs> what the you fuck? Were, I've been sleeping you on... Were informed, you fun. were informed on this on <laughs> your first day. I told you there was a bed. Yeah, your yeah. Your exact words were, hey, man, I want to live in trash. <laughs> yeah, and man. You, you got beds, but where the fuck is all the food in the beds, man? I like to eat. I eat, eat, eat rotten apples, man. <laughs> You're literally living over a kitchen. You could have made food at any time. Yeah, man, but I like it just lying, sleeping food down. And someone, in your I like when people just drop yeah, a bag of food this. on me, man. It's not about this. Let's go back to the subject. We got robbed, okay? Oh, shit, not man. About okay, yeah, okay. Well, we should inspect the room, see if uh, yeah, see, what, see what they did. This place is happened. nice, I guess, man. I guess... Yeah. Are we moving um, to the second floor? Can we move to the second floor? Yeah, if you want to move your characters, you can do that. Um, but yeah, so the staircase is kind of in the top corner. There's a closet um, that's to the top left. Oh, I can do the cursor and actually show it. So this is the closet. That you no, know, there's the beds. The beds look like they're messy, but none of the <laughs> desks or the chests look like they've been touched. Oh, so good. again, it's like the cash registers and these chests. None <laughs> of this stuff looks. Just, what the, haven't checked the What did they do in the bed, man? <laughs> No. They're all messed up. The beds are all messed Ew. up. Right the beds. I, if I was... To, oh, <laughs> fuck. Never mind. That's a one. I was going to say I roll perception, but I'm just so mad that someone has come into my Taco Bell that I'm, I can't pay attention. Yeah, you start looking around and you accidentally walk into a coat hook and it pokes you in the eye a little bit. Oh, ah, shit, ah, man. Fuck. I thought you had glasses, man. Why don't you fucking see that? Nerd. <laughs> 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 He's too busy um, with the books. <laughs> gotta keep, gotta keep your head out, man. Look out, man. Fucking read too much, man. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, so there's the closet. The stairs go up to the bell tower. Uh, the beds are fucked up. That's kind of all that's going on in this room. If you want to check out anything else, yeah, let's head upstairs. Whoa, whoa, are there any fucking stains on the bed, man? Do they just sleep here or what, man? I'd rather. Yeah, you look know. at the beds, and there are there's a bunch of whoppers that have been. Left oh, in the bed. no! Oh, oh they no! The beds. Oh, All right. They this fucking ate shit. this burger shit here, man. Get this out, man. This is, you have to buy a new mattress. They fucking. It smells like burgers in here. Fuck, man. <laughs> um, so Should we go then, to the roof? Yeah, so hey, that's the roof. Get Grunge and Taskmaster to clean this shit up, man. I, I, not my fault. <laughs> oh, so, shit, they opened up. Oh shit, man! Yeah, we're going to that roof. The let's get the tower. let's get the bell tower, dude. This is like the beginning of Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, or five. <laughs> Sorry, five. Oh, like, five was good. I love. Five. I gotta replay that. Yeah. All right, oh, let's man. keep. Oh man. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so here's the bell tower. Um, you know, Jasmine Gambit actually sometimes lives up here, like we talked about, right? It's like kind of the best spot to kind of watch the town and hang out, and like an you know, an outcast kind of cool person. Uh, but the Taco Bell is gone. <gasps> what the no! fuck, man? I, that was the coolest shit, man. I, I, oh, I'm not gonna know what time it is anymore, man. The, the fucking I looked at it to read the time on it, man. Oh, I'm not gonna. No, <laughs> Yeah. You guys don't understand. Without that actual bell, all of the protective spells on the Taco Bell are null and void. Ugh. We could be attacked much easier. What we need to get that bell back. What could have have sold such a big bell? It must have been like a huge ogre that we didn't see. <laughs> That's yeah. true. It is really impressive because the bell's the massive. They get it out? Even the f there was like five of the Burger King. You don't think five of them I... on their own could have lifted it out or Ooh. anything. So yeah, it's a <laughs> mystery. That? How did it get disappeared? Was... 
Was that the magic sound we heard earlier? He might have uh, been. We better look around <laughs> for some clues. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you, do, if anyone has an investigation, you can roll an investigation check in your skills, or otherwise, you can roll a perception check. And if you don't have perception, you can just roll a wisdom check. So, roll the dice and add your perception or I your wisdom. Percep or your I got perception. Okay. And other people can roll too to help if, if you want. Is it yeah. like uh, wisdom? Uh, can, we, wisdom. can we only yeah. roll if we have those? No, well, if you don't have it, what you do is you just roll and you add your wisdom modifier, which is, I think, the second to the last stat that you have on your sheet. Yeah, and is that, do we use our the d20? Yeah, the d20. Okay. So I got altogether a 21 on perception. I'll roll. Okay. Big brain, you got another 20? So I got, I had a 16. Oh. Okay. So I got a 10. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. What you guys notice, is you notice some cheese stains. You're not sure if they're from the nacho rats or what, <laughs> but you do notice some cheese stains. But then you also notice some monster tracks of some sort. Um, you're not sure what they are, but, but Kevin, you have seen these before, and you think they're some sort of lizard creature. There's a lot of different kinds of liver lizard creatures. There's uh, kobolds. There's dragonborn. There's lizard men, there's troglodytes, there's even more kinds too. But you think it's probably one of those kinds of kind of lizard people kind of subspecies. That's kind of what you're you can tell from your Kevin Hilt senses. All right. Yes, yeah, so there seems to be some sort of lizard people trail. I believe the Birkin must have been working with someone. We need to follow these trails. Could there be fickle dragons that came in? Because no. I can smell it. <laughs> or like a wyvern or something. Yeah. Um, so you have a good sense of smell. So you can also roll a perception check just to smell stuff too. It's like a separate one. <laughs> Did you say pickle dragon? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Not a, yeah. You never heard of the pickle dragon? They, they actually are lived with the Burger King. I've heard about this tell. Oh man. I heard they fucking, they cut their tail out. And that's how they get the fucking pickles. That's why their food fucking sucks. <laughs> I hate yeah. a hot pickle in oh. my <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh fuck, man! They fucking cut burn. Oh god damn it! All right, I think we should look at the trail. If yeah, so if you want to roll a uh, wisdom, you can see if you can smell any dragons or anything. Okay, I got a sixteen plus one. Ooh. So okay. So yeah, um, you know the smell of pickle dragon, and this isn't the <laughs> smell of pickle dragon, but it is the smell of what's called a drake, which is kind of like a lesser flying lizard. Um. You don't think it's what left these tracks because uh, a wyvern is way bigger. Um, oh. But you think that maybe a wyvern kind of, it smells like a wyvern might have came through here. God damn right. it! It smells like a what? fucking wyvern came through here! <laughs> what Frank said. <laughs> you know, that thing that Frank absolutely didn't know and Audrey knew, but somehow. Oh man, I uh. fucking smell it, man. You know, you never get the you never forget the smell of a woman, man. I remember back in the mushroom, the mushroom was, man. Oh uh. fuck, we were stranded. I was so fucking cold, and then I I killed the woman, man, and I fucking cut its insides out, and I slept in the woman, man. I slept there for like two days, man. Oh what? my god. Hang out with this old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it is good. Anyways, it's good. Like you said you were 14. Oh uh, yeah, man. I've well, seen a lot of shit. I see, I've seen a lot of shit in my day, man. I'm only 14, right. man. We we need to get the bell back. This is the most important thing. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. That we could possibly do. <laughs> so, uh we need to get on this trail. All right, What's man. That? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hey, man, hey, think of this, man. If we go out find this fucking bell, we're not going to have to restock the inventory, clean the fucking toilets. No, you're, you're absolutely going to have to still do all no, of that I don't stuff. Do, that leave is, that to fucking... No, uh, that is 100% uh, in your contract. Grunge and Dogmaster said they, they take... I traded shifts with them, man. Absolutely not. <laughs> I traded shifts. Doing, nope, I traded shifts. They the clocked in. Toilets. Man. Let's go. Yeah, I can talk okay. master does that. We'll but. use persuasion on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got promoted, so, man. We're bell hunters. By who? <laughs> oh, man. Duty calls. <laughs> A soldier so, never quits, man. So do we want to... Um, do we want to take a break to do the the, the hype train stuff? Yeah, we can know. do Just a quick thank you if you want to take a quick break. drink of yeah. water yeah. or something. 
Yeah. Oh wow, we've already been yeah. For this an has hour been amazing. Oh my god, this has yeah, been so much fun. Freaking- I'm we're having fun to the end of today's we're, session. We're also think, discovering yeah, our characters cool. and shit. I love that we have our. This is our quest. Someone has stolen our bell. Yeah, yeah. We have to get our Taco Bell. And back. now we know our campaign name is Ye Old Taco Bell, which I should I update do, like, the title. Somebody called us. You know, every every party like a party has a name. Somebody in the chat called us the Taco Bellions. I fucking love that. <laughs> is that is that a reference to something else outside of like like within uh, Hellion maybe? Like yeah. Hellion. Uh, yeah, Taco Ye Hellion, Old Taco, Taco Bell Bellion. is fucking awesome. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess let me, let me, one. Thank you, Brian. Found Tupperware, whatever this shit's called. Yeah. So we can roll our dice in it. Thank you, Marty. Sent I'll, all. I'll find of, something better. Uh, yeah, this works. Thank you, Brian, for following. Uh, we'll turn on alerts temporarily. But yeah, yeah. I want to give a huge. Let me give our quick shouts out. One. Thank you so much to Marty, who's been in the chat the whole Marty. time. Uh, Marty also streams on Twitch. He mailed. Uh, so Ryan and Spencer are already huge D and D dudes. They already had their own die, and I was like, man, maybe Spencer or Ryan will do a little digital thing. Marty surprised us and mailed us. Uh, all of us die. Like the, I, the fact that he got an individual die for me and Brian too. I'm having fun. Like, yeah, I I'm, we were share I'm learning it. Audrey's got die. This is so fucking yeah. rad. So thank you, Marty. Fucking rolls. Um, also huge. Again, this would not be possible without Spencer. Mm-hmm. All the Hapuchinos. Spencer, thank you so fucking. I'm having fun. This is like I don't know. It's like well, it's like even when I'm not in in charge of like doing a thing or whatever. I'm genuinely enjoying sitting back and hearing everyone else improv. Yeah. You no, know, it's my turn. Like. This is really fucking fun. It really reminds me of like back when I was kids, like when I was my friends on the schoolyard yeah. and just making up games. Like, yeah. hey, today let's do Predator and I want to be fucking this. And they're like, yeah. yeah. And then there's going to be a new Predator yeah. in this one. We have it's, to fight them. It, it, <laughs> that's the thing. Me and my friends used to always do that. And then someone is like, have you heard of Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> and I was like, that's what we've been doing. We've yeah. already been doing that. Yeah. And so we would kind of like do, we didn't know the rules at, at the beginning. So we would kind of do a, like a rough D&D, but with Pokemon and we would all be Pokemon and we'd have to buy like potions and fight Pokemon and stuff. And then like we eventually just started doing real D&D, but it was always really loose. But it was, yeah, like because my friends, a lot of them would stop playing uh, pretend and stuff. And I just wanted to keep going. And, Me fucking yeah, it's too. awesome. This is badass. <laughs> yeah, I always hate it. Like that was always the thing. My, pre- my brother and I literally had fucking campaigns. We rolled a million of them <laughs> when we were kids. We just didn't have die. And, and then huge, yeah. huge shouts out to Dr. Ryan. I also heard Ryan, Ryan. promoted our, 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 our stream a little while ago. Let me, the Ryan thing should pop up. Is it Dr. Ryan? Hold on. Or maybe our stream lines. There it is, Doctor Ryan. Doctor Ryan there is a is a huge. Uh, Ryan has we. I I used to like would I'm not I don't know. I, Ryan used to always does larping and all this stuff, and I never understood it. I feel like I would joke about it, but now that we're actually doing it, this is really fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm so stoked. Ryan is here. Uh, thank you so much, Doctor Ryan. Ryan also maybe might be continuing streaming in the future. Follow Ryan on his Twitch. We would love to see office hours return um we we're also talking not even D specific but may, i think we're all we might be going to anime expo this year so if you want to hang out i'm excited but that's a separate thing uh but we love dr ryan follow ryan follow audrey jose post it in the chat audrey's amazing audrey also does art if you want to support audrey buy something from her shop she'll mail it out she is amazing she does mm-hmm. super cute art she does tiktok she does twitter audrey how stoked are you to be doing D with everyone uh very good <laughs> but next time make me let me talk yeah Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still love you. No, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. I was, I was talking in D and D, not now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sleep. Actually, mm-hmm. I'm very tired. Um, and then, um, and then, yeah, we're still gonna keep it going, right? We're just doing a quick little, quick little, quick little break. For yeah, this is just a break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless you guys oh. want to stop. I'm it, fine. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, we, yeah. And then, uh, be sure to follow Brian. Also, Brian's been streaming. Alan Wake. Uh, thank you, Brian. This has been very fucking swag. Yeah, this is great. Uh, we also have a Discord if everyone wants to. If everyone people want to join us, you can also follow us on socials. Uh, and then I'll just do the quick read throughs before we get back into it. Thank you everyone who's been cheering, supporting the show. We have a ton of new followers. Thank you, Josh, uh, who popped 100 bits. Need not apply. Doctor Butthugger mustache gave a gift sub. Jackson, we got raided by a few people. Thank you so many new people followed us. Holy crap! Say you can pop seven bits. Doctor Butthugger gave five gift subs earlier during our hype channel. Was Royale with cheese. Rory gave a gift sub. Southern Spaceman Connor. Arkwright, Need Not Apply, and CC, I think was our first sub, as well as Blaze. Thank you so much. As always, if you have Twitch Prime, be sure to pop it. If you do want to support us, sponsor the stream in any way, we would love it. And we'll uh, even after we end our D&D session, we're still going to do Tuesday Night Big Dogs and play some video games. So thank you, everyone. Uh, I think everyone's good if anyone needs to go to the bathroom or drink water. Otherwise, I think we're set to okay, keep on great. rocking. Yeah. The question is, I, I, thought, I thought it was like the spot we stopped because it's like it was a good hanger. But 
That was the halfway point. We're halfway done. Okay. Well, okay. maybe more than half. I think maybe it's like, I think you should investigate. And once yeah. you like find evidence of the investigation, we can kind of like set up a cliffhanger. So maybe another yeah. half hour or so. Like I'm thinking, is that cool? Yeah. Audrey, is that okay. good? Or I mean, if it was up to me, we'd I'm go fine. like six hours, but. <laughs> half well, hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yep, that's perfect. Cool, cool. So I think, I think, yeah, it's. I yeah, I think it's like we get to the first dungeon kind of. Yeah, be, yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, okay. So yeah, um, all right, everyone, ready then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. All right. So yeah, you the 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 bell it's gone. A, a wyvern, maybe it smells like they went here. Um, the the Burgerkin showed up. They disappeared. Uh, a bobomb attack by this new and just you guys know this is like a crazy new kind of bobomb. You've never seen this before. This is like a very worrying technological development. Obviously, the Mushroom Kingdom knows a lot about you know the dangers of war and, and, and sort of like terrible weapons like. So, you know, these are all kind of like the threads that you've kind of noticed. So, yeah, now you want to you kind of got to figure out wh who actually took it or where did they take it? That's kind of the situation. So what do you want to do to figure that figure that out? Let's see. Uh, don't I have some sort of like a tracking ability or, or was that did that was that something that we said? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you do. OK, Let's see here. Or like some, I, I did sniff out the whip of a white burden. Or Aud Audrey, aren't yeah. you proficient in like nature? Could you like look? Well, like I sniffed out. I sniffed out the monster, but the direction is unknown yet. So I don't. I which what could I do other than that? Uh, I don't know. You can ask, you can, you know, talk to people and ask if anyone's seen or heard anything. If, you know, maybe people have information on the Burger King or maybe people have seen a Wyvern, you know, in the area, stuff like that, you know, follow up leads. Okay. Um, I'd say we, we probably, uh, there's, cause there's nobody left inside the, uh, the Taco Bell except for Grunge and, uh, Token Master, right? Yeah. Also, uh, Glenn Bell's there too. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, then I, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I would say let's go start talking to Glenn Bell, see if he knows anything about wyverns, and uh, or if anybody in the town knows it, or if he knows anybody in the town who would know about wyverns. Yeah, so you want to talk to Glenn Bell. Um, okay. Sorry, I was just trying to pull up a character sheet, and I can't find it, but that's fine. I don't have <laughs> yeah. to. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Glenn Bell. Um, he is back at the cash register. He is just hanging out. Um, he's like, oh, my God, you guys, everything's going to down. Oh, you, you guys know the bell's missing. That's like it's part of a big new marketing initiative from corporate. They're installing these new giant Taco Bells everywhere. If we don't get this back, we're going to be so fucking fucked. And also, I, you know, I don't have to tell you that all of the magical <laughs> wards that protect the Taco Bell are stationed here. Well, hey, Glenn Bell, let me tell you, it's your number one employee. I'm going to get that shit back for you, man. No fucking problem. But, hey, who might want a giant fucking bell if you're not running a Taco Bell, huh? Do you have any threats in your emails or some shit, man? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Del Taco is oh! always nipping at our heels. I don't oh! know if it's Del Taco. I would never go there, man. I don't even know what that place looks like, man. I swear, I swear, I did not eat there. I do not know what Del Taco is, man. Although you got to give it to them. The French fries are pretty good. Oh, yeah. No, they're good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, so maybe we, I, we should go to a fucking Del Taco, see if they installed any new bells. That seems like some easy shit to figure out. Yeah, can I mean, I? You, you do what you want. This is oh. high priority shit, man. Yeah, man, I can fucking clock out, man. I ain't got. I, hey, wait, wait. We get paid for this shit, too, right, man? I get to stay clocked in while we run out and do adventure? Yeah, you get to, that's what it is. You get paid, oh, man. You get to stay oh, God, God, man. Oh, yeah, this is good shit, man. Okay, yo, yo X Force. Um, yo, uh, is that. Yeah. Kevin I want to talk to Gr I want to talk to Grunge. Okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah, Grunge is there. I just want to go to Grunge and gr go. Um, so you let five small burger kin. They were orcs. You're an orc. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, they, they fucking allergies. They left their burgers upstairs. That's why it smells like shit. Oh, and you just man. you just let them in, and you didn't try to stop them. 
I did. You try to take on five guys exactly your size. It's not oh. easy. Oh, I thought they were like I thought the Burger King were little tiny guys. Don't get me like, started on five guys, guys man. <laughs> Those burgers like, are too big. Or, tiny. I thought they were like tiny orcs. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Never mind. I thought he was like in on it. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, someone would had to have. Uh, if a giant wyvern came down and stole our bell, I assume someone outside saw it. So I feel like we should probably go outside and just find someone who said maybe, oh yeah, a bell went that way. Like that might be our first lead. So I want to go outside and just see if there's anyone looking in the sky like, oh, I just saw a bell. Yeah, there's a bunch of women. Uh, there's a bunch of people watching a woman sobbing in the street. Um, oh. Yeah, but there's a bunch of people. Oh man, oh. we should go talk to this lady sobbing in the street. Okay, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> She's hey, like, my baby, my baby got exploded. Oh no, oh man, hey, we <laughs> took care of that fucking bomb for you, lady. Uh, where's our quest reward? <laughs> I didn't ask you to do anything. Why, uh, why didn't you save my baby? We tried, man. This is not this fucked up shit happened. Hey, more important than your fucking baby, man. That's, that's yesterday's news. Have you seen a big bell <laughs> flown away by a, a wyvern? I did see a wyvern. It came by. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where did, I, where did it go? I don't know where it went, but I saw these orange creatures. Uh, these orange creatures were riding it. They look like orange lizards. Oh! Hmm. Is, is her baby dead? Oh, yeah. They was You you put together oh. in your mind that she's talking about the kid that got exploded. Yeah. Oh, the sh okay. Oh, fuck. Now, why you have to bring it I up, man? Bum everyone out. Can't, <laughs> I can't raise people from the dead yet, unfortunately. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Wit... Uh, which uh, which general direction did you maybe see those lizards going? I think they went to the hive stones, and uh, you guys know what the hive stones are. They're these are giant the clusters of rocks that are kind of in these geometric formations, kind of like uh, what do you call it? Like a web, uh, mm -hmm. a circle, kind of like an orb, kind of shell of webs. Mm -hmm. It's all these layers of kind of geometric rock that um, different kinds of monsters have made their homes in. And it's this macro kind of labyrinth structure of tunnels and caves and all sorts of stuff that's called the hive stones because there's kind of like hives basically for monsters. How far away is the hive stones from Bellevue? It's about an hour on a horse. Okay. Do we have a horse? Well, do we have uh, a horse? No, you can rent one though. Hmm. No, we should get one of those. Money to rent when can I ride someone's back in this case? <laughs> yeah, you could probably two you could probably share two horses and everyone yes. could fit on two horses. Oh, okay, I, I'm going on the one that Kevin Hill because the one with Wario is gonna fucking melt because of his fat ass. No man, the X Force, we got the badass horse. We got the uh, horse armor, man. We got that oblivion shit. <laughs> Yeah, man. I team, I team up with the Kevin Hill. All yeah, right. I guess I guess we gotta go to the horse rental yeah, store. We All right, okay. we're the doing livery. Yeah. Yes. So you go to the stables. Um, you, you see a small man. He looks really thin. He's an elf. He's a bald elf. He's <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm the cheap ass gamer. What's yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, um, Jared. I got a deal on horses. <laughs> Look at this horse. It's half dead, but I'll give you half off. That's a good Whoa. deal, man. Oh man, a necro horse. A necro horse. <laughs> half necro. There, half half oh. necro. Does it have any? Uh, <laughs> Not there <laughs> Jordan and Jared Jared's in the house a deal. deal. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah. What kind of a deal do we get on this horse? Half off, but oh. it's half dead. <laughs> you have two half dead horses for the price of one. We need two horses. No, but I got one live horse and one dead horse. Oh man, I take the live horse. Yeah. All right, dibs on the live horse. Uh, you know what? I'm okay. a I'm an undead. I'm a hell spawn. I'm kind of, you know, ex dead. I'll, I get along with the dead horse. How, how much does he want for yeah, the horse? How horses? much does he want for the horse? Can we afford it? Uh, it's half off, so it's going to be 1.5 gold. Shit, man. How, how much, much gold do we how have? How much is in our corporate account? So, Jordan? you. Yeah, so you don't have a or you don't have your corporate credit cards on you right now. Um, but you have your gold. It should say your gold kind of at the bottom oh. of the sheet. I think you each have maybe 10 gold or so around there. So, in the uh, equipment? It's in the kind of the bottom of the middle near the equipment. Yeah, on the left you, side. Oh, Can maybe, I do payment oh, I, with I my cheese? With, with your what? Can I do payment with my cheese dust? Oh, it's kind of rare. You can try, yeah. Oh, can I, can, I, can, I, can I bargain that with my roll? 
Yeah, so do a charisma check. The charisma is kind of your last stat on the left. And then mm -hmm. so I know a add... lot of people that would oh, say got... yes, cheese. I got yeah, high charisma. Yeah, so then do we all roll if she does a charisma check? No, uh, she's just doing it. Yeah, it's just her. Oh, she's fuck. Uh, I got two plus one. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I don't take cheese unless it's a deal. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'm taking the money out of my pocket. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's it's total. It's one point five. So you for know, both horses, one, yeah, all together. Oh, so if nice. one person wants to do one, and one person wants to take half or whatever, if one person wants to take all of it, wait, you, would Kevin take my cheese? Yeah, man. Table? No, I, you oh. you work for me. I don't oh. buy from you. Kevin, you You're got this. Accountant. Kevin, you, you got this shit, you. man. Yeah, man, you you do it. We protect you. Bro. Yeah, actually. What? No. It's her job today, so you should be paying us. To yeah, take Kevin, you better to cover these horses, man. You you work for Glenn Bell. I'm just the corporate uh, oh, sponsor, right. so uh, save your receipts. You will be uh, we, we will uh, reimburse right. you for expenses at before. the end. <laughs> uh, but I will I will spend one gold on the live horse for myself, and then they can take care of the the uh, the five silver. Okay. 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 All right. So who wants to pay the five silver, which is half a gold? Can can Jasmine Gamma and I each do a quarter? <laughs> I'll just pay the half. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big win for Ha 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 Yes. I'm I'm gonna request a receipt from the cheap ass gamer. All right. So he gives you a receipt. He gives you a, a, a live horse and a half dead horse. Um, and he's like, ha ha. I'll be seeing you. And he just disappears. Holy oh, shit, the man! Oh. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Um, so, yeah. So now I guess we get on the horse. All right. What is, I got the name of my horse, man. It's like Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> you get the horse, you know? Uh, and also, there's still the unconscious bob -omb, just so you know. Oh, shit, man. Oh, That's not yes, riding with that. me. <laughs> no, you should ride with the undead in case it blow up. It won't make any damage. <laughs> All right, man. Um, we just have to be careful. Yeah, let's let's tie up. Let's tie up the bob -omb and put it on the back of the dead horse. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That it way also gives you a projectile in case someone comes in. It's also like a security system. Yeah. If someone tries to steal the horse, it might rustle They'll the blow bomb up. Yeah. It'll blow up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you put on your car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a okay. bomb. All right. So there's yeah, a bomb well, on the horse. horse. Yeah. What's okay. the name of the dead horse? Um, let's uh... see. Can I just call the dead horse Todd McFarlane? Elvis jokes? <laughs> sure, yeah. Elvis jokes. He's <laughs> beating a dead horse. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Tingle horse. Tingle what? horse is still one of my favorite things Yoda joke. from Mega 64. Tingle horse. I promise Tingle I gotta, I I like got, Ryan, I'll, horse. I'll name my horse Cooler Horse. No. Yes. What was it? It was like we were talking about like different horse personalities for all of us. You were talking about who wanted to be like uh, different horses. Be, yeah. And and Rocco was Tingle Horse and he hated it. Yeah, you guys were the Tri Horse. <laughs> that was it. Tri Horse. Tri -horse. I call it a Tri Horse. All right, a dead horse is called Tri Horse. Yeah. I'm down with that. Tri Horse. Oh, we got Tri Horse. Tri Horse. Yeah, we got Tri Horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. My horse is named Horse 2. I like that. All right, I got, awesome. I got nice. the Tri Horse. Right. Yeah, we got All the Tri right. Horse. Frank and I are getting on the Tri Horse. There we go. And uh, Hot Cheeto. We'll get on Horse Kevin 2. Kevin Hill are getting on Horse 2. And then we start okay. riding towards. Uh, Toward the, toward the hive, st the hive, the hive stones. stones? The hive stones. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah. Let me see if I can find a picture. Uh, uh, G -G Hold on. Hold on. And again, if anyone ever does want to make art or any of this, or even doodles, we'll be happy to throw it on screen. We are leaving this incredible Taco Bell behind. Oh, For now. For now. Like Okay, so I don't know. I'm putting a link in the I don't know the the D and D notes just mm -hmm. to kind of post it. So you eventually get to the Hive Stones after about an hour of riding. You're not sure you're on the right track, but you actually see on the floor, um, smeared in feces, <laughs> oh, you see like a big middle finger in the middle of the road. And so you're like, you must be on the right track. Oh, it's clearly um, it's pointing the way to go. So. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. So you get to the, the Hive Stones, which are like, I, I showed this. It's kind of like a geodesic dome <laughs> kind of jungle yeah. gym is the picture. It's like these giant rocks 
rocks that are kind of in those formations, a bunch oh, of yeah. these kind of domes that are, they're hollow. You know, there's these stone pillars that form the edges of the dome, but they're hollow, but they're all piled up on each other. So it's like, it does form caves and stuff, but it's just because of these crumbled kind of pillars and rocks kind of forming these crazy cave structures. Um, so you do see at the entrance, um, of one of these kind of caves, you see a bunch of these little, uh, orange kind of lizard people they have kind of pterodactyl like beaks these long kind of beaks and they're very small they're maybe about three feet tall and they're very scrawny they're kobolds these kind of lizard people are called kobolds and these ones specifically have this kind of red and brown kind of orange speckled kind of scaling pattern to them because these you actually know about this kevin um these are Doritos Locos Kobolds. Um, oh. They're an experiment by Taco Bell that went wrong. And so they eventually just abandoned the Doritos Locos Kobolds and they started making a hive in the hive stones. So again, there's other stuff in the hive stones, but this is kind of what you see is it looks like it's a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, kobolds. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to kind of mm -hmm. like do what, like a, like a, Stop, you know, at everybody and be like, get to the side and I'll point out the, the kobolds. I'm like, it's it's the Doritos Locos kobolds. You know, we have to take this kindly. They don't like us. You know, they still it's instilled in them to be, uh, you know, aggressive to us because they know they know what we did to them. So we got to watch out. Yeah. Trying to see. Um, so, yeah, they're at the entrance to this kind of cave stone. Um and they see you coming and they're kind of taunting you and dancing. Um, they're kind of like slapping their ass and kind of <laughs> making weird faces towards you. They're kind of taunting you at the entrance to their cave. Hmm. Kind of want to go first, but I know I'm going to get, I'm going to get fucking destroyed. Do, do we want to go in like guns blazing or do we want to try and talk to them? Like, what do you guys want to do? Well, I do have a, uh, uh, animal and link could i try to talk to them or listen hear drop what they're saying in their weird lizard language yeah so um you can listen to what they're saying um you, they're pretty far off but if you listen closely you can hear a couple words here and there but i don't think anyone understands their language um, <laughs> they speak a language called underground and i don't think anyone knows underground hmm. nope I'm sorry, guys. They're talking another language. I can't. I, I can't. I apparently know French. Is that like the same thing? <laughs> no. no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> French is the language of the elves. Oh, okay. And French, you know, it's also yeah, French. Yeah, yeah. But French. elves speak French. Baggage. But Dwarves like a weird, like a weird French from another country that's like not. Like... <laughs> I I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. so yeah, but the, you can't understand them. They sound mad. They sound like they're making fun of you and are angry, but oh. you can't really tell what they're saying exactly. Mm. Mm. We should probably attack them. Yeah. I mean, if these but, guys are in the way of our bell, we, we better fuck them up. And, uh, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, cause we're still on the horse. I'm going to look over at hot Cheeto and I'm just going to go, Hey, I, I can under, like, I'm totally lying to her when I'm saying, I can understand what they're saying. And they just said, <laughs> Your dress looks stupid. <gasps> and I'm going to try to send her into a rage so she goes and attacks. What? <laughs> okay. I can feel my Cheeto dust getting very stinky. <laughs> At this point, they can almost smell us as much how swollen I'm getting. Can I go fucking berserk mode from yeah. all this anger? No one talks shit about my fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you go into your, your angry Oni rage, you get a lot bigger, you know, you become big and monstrous. Uh, but yeah, what do you want to do? Do you want to just charge at him straight up? Not even with my weapon. I'm going my fist. I'm going for the, their throat, their little <laughs> lizard throat. I'm jumping oh, yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Do okay. I, I roll to He's do smoke. that? Or I... <laughs> yeah, so first, what? so you start charging at him, right? Yes. And they start slapping their asses to kind of make fun of you. <laughs> and then out of the sky comes, uh, what do you call it? You're not out of the sky, out of the cave. They're standing in front of the cave. You see these two little sacks kind of come whizzing at your your angry 
head and you can't you know you're seeing seeding with rage so you can't dodge or you you know you don't think to dodge before pow pow you get hit in the face with two bags of flour and flour goes all <laughs> over you kind of into your eyes and stuff so you can attack but you're gonna attack with disadvantage because you have flour in your eyes um but yeah so you're gonna roll the roll the attack and then and roll it again and take whatever the lower number is before you add the bonus. Does that make sense? I go with a D420 and I, I roll. Yeah. And then you roll you roll it twice and take the lowest number. Okay. So I got a 16 and I got a, I got a 17. So I got okay, 16. Okay. So you take the 16. Yeah. And then you add your attack bonus. So that should be in your attacks. Do you see that anywhere? Maybe plus four or something? Yes. It is strength or attacks. Is there strength. Attack? Strength plus four. Yes. So, okay, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you hit him. Um, what do you want to do? You want to punch him? You want to strangle him? You want to grab oh, him? Oh, strangling right to the troll because they talk shit about my dress and no <laughs> one talks shit about my fashion! I can see his uh, eyes pops a little. <laughs> yeah, his eyes pop out and you can hear the crack, like uh, the crack of a Doritos chip snapping <laughs> as his neck snaps. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and he goes limp in your hands. Um, and the other... The other kobold is like, oh, my God. Uh, and it throws it throws uh, down. It's kind of uh, it has like a club and it throws it down and just bolts inside the cave, leaving you with the other dead kobold. So so they're just uh, they're just they've run inside the cave within the hive stones where they live. Um, and you're covered in, in flour and you're holding a dead kobold. Take a bite out of his head and then I calm down and I go back small. <laughs> but right, I still so feel stronger from all that anger and that Dorito in my mouth. Yeah, and since Doritos are cheese, you get a little bit bigger again. Yeah. Damn, that's wrong. Damn, yeah. that's cool. All right. Now and you so, guys can join me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think maybe we should stop there. I don't know. Like, in the next time we can take the cat, the caves and take yeah. out the, the yeah. and stuff. That's perfect. That's awesome. Awesome. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's it for today. Uh, will our heroes find the bell? Will they take care of the kobolds? And what about the mysterious unconscious Bobom? And I'm not feeling so good about this half dead horse either. Find out next time on Big Dogs D and D. Holy shit! Amazing, folks! Wow. Round of applause. That was so for fun. Spencer. That was oh, amazing. Yeah. Awesome. That awesome. was so, yeah, so much fun. If you guys. If you have any big D and D questions, you know we could talk about them in the notes and stuff. But yeah, you did a great job. Everyone clearly, you know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, that was great. Oh, thank, thank you, Ken. Then we just popped the case up. I really feel like I understand it more. Yeah, yeah. For, for, you got to kind of play it to get what's going on. But I think it's a lot simpler than people kind of make it out to be. Yeah, yes, I, I, I had to learn the flow of the storytelling. Like, oh, when is it our turn to do something? When is it you know, like? And, and by the end, I was like, oh no, this is this is cool. Like. Yeah, this was fucking fun. And then Spencer was able to do a map and stuff. Like, and then we were already talking about something before of like when we don't have the map, I wanna have like a like a corner where we just show fan art or just general de like if anyone wants yeah. to draw the Doritos Locos Kobolds, like we'll start building a folder of like art and stuff that we can just have scrolling by because like Josh Curley did amazing art and people yeah. wanna make any art. And then um yeah, so this is cool. Yeah, this is fucking rad. Um and yeah, we basically said like you know, like probably no more than once a week and maybe every two weeks is perfect. But honestly, it's whatever Spencer is ready to do another. We can try to figure it out. So like yeah. we don't want to burn anyone out. So if it's every two weeks, perfect. If we want to try every Tuesday night for a little bit, we could try it. No pressure, like whatever, whatever works, for, whatever works. And this will always be, uh, you know, posted on YouTube, posted. And if anyone does want to sponsor the stream and donate, I do want to tip Spencer or Dungeon Master at least cover the cost of dinner uh, or anything. So, well, you know, uh, uh, please, if you do want to support us and we have people cheering well, and we're still going to do our Tuesday night big dogs, we might play family guy, the game. Um, but I also want to pass yeah. it. Yeah. Spencer, go for oh, it. Just real quick. I just want to say that the music was done by a website called Sirenscape. It's like a subscription service that does music. And then the maps were done by something called owlbear.rodeo, which I'd recommend if you want to play D and D with your friends online. And yeah, stuff. that so was, I just want to call that out. That was so fucking cool. I yeah. couldn't believe like, Oh my God. Like I, when I, looked at it this, mor this morning, I was like, oh, is this like a default map? What is this? And then you're like, no, that's the Taco Bell. If you Holy shit. Hey, um, you get yeah. Free and so, yeah, Spencer... <laughs> of course, no one ever gets a hole in I always like letting this play out for a second. Mountain. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, Spencer did such a dope job with the music and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna keep on figuring it out. Bless you, need to apply. And then did, um, Audrey... 
Oh no wait, who so oh Spencer stop screen sharing. Give me and then let me let me I might be able, thank you so much, Ark, right? So uh and then uh if people do want to share, we'll honor the hype train once 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 we say depart. I'm trying to pull up the Discord so I can just show everyone's face. Oh, I'm just gonna do I almost have this is the dumbest way to show this off. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm trying to keep keep up. So okay, there you go. I think that's it. If, if Spencer does want to turn the camera on for a second, I don't know if he turned it off. Oh, I think I turned it on, didn't I? Did I not do uh, it? I, you turned your own camera off. Yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. There you go. Okay, cool. Here is our cast of Big Dogs, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I know both Audrey and Ryan might be going to bed soon. I guess let me, let me pass the mic to everyone. Audrey, did you want to say anything for tonight, or or anything to plug, or anything before you depart? Um, it was a great time, and uh, yeah, I will do art, but that you all know that. But I had a great time, and I feel like I understand D and D more, and I'm looking forward to see uh, what type of food I'm gonna fight in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Audrey was great at it. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, for sure. I want to see pickle dragon for sure. Yeah, oh, holy dude, shit. Too. I'm very, I'm very scared of a pickle dragon. I want somebody <laughs> to draw that. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Uh, well, that was awesome. Yeah, we'll I'll, uh, I'll export this and, and share it. And then I, what I might be able to do, it'll probably be easiest, is I will probably like export this as two separate VODs. So it's oh, just yeah. the D and D and its clean thing, and then whatever Tuesday night Big Dogs will be, that'll be its own separate VOD I'll share. So that way, if there's any Happuccinos, uh, and again, if you want to support Spencer, he does have a, a Patreon uh, with his, a really great Discord community and stuff too. So Spencer makes D and D content and stuff. Yeah, Spencer, any, 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 and you're totally welcome to hang out if you want to, but if you have to go, no worries. But Spencer, any other closing words or anything before we switch over? Uh, no, this was just so fun. I was worried about not doing a good job, and I think you, I did better than it. I expected. Yes. Um, I might put some of this stuff on my Patreon, yeah. like maybe the Taco Bell map, or maybe I'll just put them up for free if you want yeah. to use them with your in your D and D games or something for for home. I don't know, but you know, I might I might put some of the Patreon stuff that we or the, some of the D and D stuff we come. I might like, put it up online or something for people to check out. What because I I am coming up with this stuff. There's actual rules. You just don't see them. You know, so it's like we could show that part to people too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> well, this fucking rocks. We'll keep everyone posted with it, with it, and we'll have announcements of next time we do D and D. And I can't believe how many viewers we still have, and, and people who followed us. So that was awesome. Um, so fuck yeah. That was uh, great. Yeah, that was sick. And then yeah, again, Spencer streams a lot too. So if you have questions, like get to know Spencer. He's super rad. Um, yeah, for sure. And I'm I'm gonna go uh get like smoke, but I might come back later. Dude, jump on. Cool. We might watch a really. I'm going to call the martial arts training videos. That's going to be code for uh, we might watch some martial arts training videos tonight. So, you know, if you want to hop on, we'll do like a yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you know, copyright free shitty VHS action movies. Um, All right. Good night, Audrey. Thank you so much. Thank you for being Bye. here, Audrey. Bye. Good night, everyone. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm out too. I'll be back. Yeah. Pop, Thanks, guys. Pop on anytime. Thank you. All right, dude. Thank you for I'm coming. Gonna I'm gonna take off too. I'm gonna stay in the chat, but I'm yeah. gonna be winding down for the night. So uh, thank you, thank Ryan. you, thank you, Spencer. I can't wait till the next time we get to play. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. I'll see ya. Thank you.